left ventricular systolic and diastolic dysfunction have been reported in Epstein's anomaly of tricuspid valve, presumably due to the left ventricular fibrosis seen in these cases. Left ventricular fibrosis can be due to arterial oxygen desaturation. Left ventricular non-combaction is another potential cause of left ventricular dysfunction in cases in which it is associated. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. In a study from Mayo Clinic, 50 of the 495 patients who underwent surgery for Epstein's anomaly had moderate or severe left ventricular dysfunction documented on preoperative echocardiogram. Left ventricular function improved in all but four of these patients after surgery. There was no deterioration of left ventricular function after surgery in any of the cases. Left ventricular diastolic dysfunction in Epstein's anomaly could be due to right ventricular volume overload and it can persist even after intracardiac repair. Here are the first set of references on left ventricular dysfunction in Epstein's anomaly. Second set of references on left ventricular dysfunction in Epstein's anomaly of tricuspid valve. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.